All right, so I had this kit for a while now. Uh, this is the fog light kit for the Gen 3 Raptor. This is the one that comes with uh, four S2 Pros, so two lights on each side. Um, I believe they also have like the three lights, kind of similar to the Gen 2 Raptors. Uh, you have like the two squads and one S2. Uh, I went ahead and just uh, did the S2s instead because I feel like that just looks a lot cleaner and you kind of get to keep all your original uh, brackets and everything. So. I'll go ahead and show you that in, during the install, but for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and lay everything down on the table so you can see what it comes with. All right, so this is everything you get in the kit. You obviously get the, um, you know, the basic uh, S2 Pro mounting hardware along with some extra harnesses in case you wanna build your own wiring harness. Um, you do get four uh, caps, so that's pretty cool because you can actually use these. They're very similar to to the ones that come with rigid this is uh these are the ones that i just took off just because uh, i just wanted to check the lighting uh but yeah you get two only when you buy the raptor but this kit comes with four you also get the option of going amber white cornering or amber spot i'm gonna go ahead and just do um amber spot and then clear i'm gonna leave the clears for the white cornering obviously these are going to go towards the outer of the vehicle and these spots are going to go uh, towards the inside um, so that should be pretty cool but it's cool that they include both um, so you can kind of set your light up however you want you also get the brackets that are honestly i haven't opened this so uh, this is probably going to go inside of the factory uh, bracket that houses the rigid lights um, so this is going to go there and then you also get the oem style wiring harness so you can connect the s2s the s2 to that and then this to the uh, ford factory harness so you obviously get four of those um and yeah that's pretty much everything in the kit uh so far there's not a lot of videos online that i can kind of copy and go off of so i'm gonna have to do this and actually read the instructions which is what i had to do for the behind the grill uh, lights that I installed on the Gen 3, uh, which I'll have that video link below if you want to do that install as well. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do this all for the first time um, with let it, with very little uh, video and visual information that I can find because I'm more of a visual learner. So this is going to suck. I hate reading instructions. So, all right, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right, so the first step says to remove this splash guard, which is going to be four 10 millimeter bolts. Uh, so one, two, three, four. Uh, use eight millimeter socket to remove the one fastener securing the bumper support. I'm guessing it's gonna be that one right there. Uh, so let me get eight mil and then get under the truck. All right, so this is the splash guard. We got one, two, three, and then four for the splash guard. All right, so after removing the two the four 10 millimeter bolts. Let's get back. One, two, three, four 10 millimeter bolts. You are going to remove two T30 bolts, which is one here and one here. All right, so I got it out. Um, now we're going to remove some of these screws here. So one, two, Mm, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, to take these lights off. T10 Torx, to take these off. It's a little bit faster with this. And you're gonna remove two more bolts, so. So the brackets are pretty easy to uh, figure out. There's only four of these and then four of these that look exactly the same. So we're gonna go ahead and keep moving down the instructions and setting up the brackets for the lights, which should be pretty easy because all these uh, brackets kind of fit one way. So to install the light onto the bracket here, you're not gonna be using these brackets. You're just gonna use these right here with the included uh, washers uh, make sure you put these washers in between the light and the bracket so this is going to be 
This washer is going to be sandwiched between the light and the bracket. That way there's not a lot of rotation. I'm um, just kind of following what the instructions are saying. So, All right, so the bracket's on pretty loosely. I didn't tighten anything up, but uh, you're going to have the short side uh, closest to the outer side of the light. And then the long side is going to be towards the inside. So it should look something like this. So once it drops in there, you're going to bolt it on. It's going to be right there. And same with this side, although got things in the way, but the same with this side. So front of the light, short side on this side, and then long side on the opposite side. You should be able to tell though, once you put the brackets on, even if you put them on backwards, you'll notice right away that it's off and you're going to need to uh, swap the brackets. So, all right, so there it is. Everything's installed. The rear of it this is how it looks long bracket on the inside short bracket on the outside this is going to be the passenger side another cool part is that you can quickly swap out lenses if you want to dust there make sure sure all this stuff is clean at least the area around the gasket so that way you don't have any issues later throw a new lens on then put the bolts back on so you don't want to over torque these just make sure you do an X pattern all right so what I did next is install the set of the wiring harnesses so this is the Ford wiring harness and this is the Baja one so I went ahead and threw those on now it's ready to go back into the truck so we push these off that's the wide cornering Turn auxiliary one off. 